guys, welcome to Casa de la Diva. It's me, Christina Sanchez. I'm so excited to have Delilah and Company in my home. Let's get this interview started. Mwah. <laughs> well, um, I'm Christina Sanchez and I'm a recording artist. I'm a dreamer, I'm a lover, I'm a free spirit. I'm just a regular Puerto Rican girl from North Philadelphia. I was born and raised in the worst parts, the Badlands, which um, everybody knows. Like, you know, a popular drug infested area and a lot of, you know, gangsters and it's the hood, it's the hood, but that's where I'm from and I'm proud of it. I was born and raised out there and it was rough, it was rough. And, you know, I always wanted something different for my life. You know, I didn't want to stay there. I, I didn't want that life forever. I knew I wanted something different. So I said, I'm going to be different. I'm going to do something with my life. I'm going to get out of here, you know? I loved it, it was a good experience for me to grow up there. It was a great experience because I'm street smart, you know, and I know a lot about, be, I know about what it is to go through the struggle. I know how it is to, you know, not have a lot. I know how it is to, to, you know, have dreams and want to, want to be somewhere else instead of being where you're at, you know? So it's helped me a lot because I'm humble. I'm humble, I, I can't treat, I cannot, I cannot be humble because I grew up poor, so it's just like, I have to be humble, I love being humble because God has blessed me so much, it's amazing. God is so good, like I'm so, thank you Jesus, thank you. I'm so happy about my life now, you know? But it was, it was not the best, not the best growing up at all. Yeah, I get a little bit emotional. <laughs> been in the industry for years and years and years and um, you know I, I entered into this industry by hosting television shows and working for Clear Channel Radio, working for the Latin radio stations in Philadelphia. Um, I did Clear Channel Radio, I worked for La Mega, I did um, international voiceover and event hosting and a lot, a lot of different things but um, I've always, always had this passion for music and writing and ever since I was a little girl I used to express myself through poetry and I had diaries and diaries and diaries of books which were just writing stories and poetry and it was just um it's a way for me to it's a release for me you know it's like um it's a form of therapy I've been through a lot I've been through a lot as a child and I grew up rough but it was good it made me stronger. I have thick skin because of it. I'm street smart because of it. And I'm just great. I'm more grateful now because because of it. You know, I don't take anything for granted. All my trips around the world, I don't take it for granted. My beautiful home, I don't take it for granted. My everything, every day I say thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus, you know, because I'm blessed. And um, I always say I deserve everything I have. I deserve everything I have. There's not one person in this world that cannot tell me I don't deserve it because I paid my dues. I gave the universe my tears. I gave the universe my suffering. I did every, you know, I've been through it all. So everything I have now, I deserve it. Abortion for me wasn't an option because, you know, it wasn't. And I'm glad I didn't choose it because I love my daughter. She's a blessing in my life. But at 17 years old, it's young, it's scary to be pregnant, to be, you know, what am I gonna do? Like, it was scary, but. I remember my father telling me, well, congratulations, you're gonna be another Puerto Rican girl on welfare, stuck in the hood for the rest of your life with a kid that you can't take care of. That, those words stung me like, like a knife in my chest. It was just like, I was like, no, 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 no. I'm gonna prove my father wrong. And even though all the odds were against me, and even though I was in the hood, and even though I was pregnant at 17, and you know, Thank God that, um, you know, I had a, my daughter's father is a great, great person and, you know, he's very supportive and that never happened because I have really, really good people in my life and I was always like, you know, there, it doesn't matter what you're from, it doesn't matter where you're from, it doesn't matter what you go through in life, it doesn't matter. If you want to do something, anything is possible, you know? 
I didn't care. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna have my baby. My baby's a blessing. My baby's beautiful. I'm young, I'm a young mother, and I'm 18 years old with a child, but guess what? My baby's beautiful and I'm gonna raise her and I'm gonna take care of her and I'm gonna still follow my dreams. And that's exactly what I did. So, I mean, for any girl, first of all, don't even put yourself in that position if you're not already in that position. Don't be a young mother because it's hard. But, you know, even if you did mess up, life goes on, keep working, keep pushing. Don't ever let anybody tell you that you're gonna be something that you're not, you know? I, I didn't, you know, I was hurt when my dad told me that, but I said, I'm not gonna listen to you. I'm gonna still follow my dreams. I'm gonna still do what I have to do. You know, I have my daughter, went back to school. I got a job on the radio, started working on the radio. I was on the radio every day. And you know, I had a very supportive, um, even though my daughter's father was very young, he was very supportive. He was very smart. He's always been very, very smart. And he's, you know, he was there for me. And it, it worked, it worked out. And then one, after being on the radio, one door led to another door and you start working and then I just started to build from there. It was, it was great, but that was probably one of the lowest points of my life. But it actually turned out to be one of the highest points of my life because my daughter is a blessing, she's amazing. I feel like we've all been betrayed in life, obviously. But it hurts the most when it comes from family. It hurts the most when it comes from people that you're close to. And um, everybody knows that I founded Divas Against Bullying out here in Philadelphia. So we go to schools and we talk to kids about cyberbullying, about self-bullying, about bullying other people. And it's a beautiful, beautiful um, foundation that I build because bullying is a big problem. And I started that because I had a family argument with, uh, with my cousins really close cousins that I grew up with. Like, these are girls that, you know, I took on trips to Puerto Rico, that I flew to Las Vegas, that I was generous, that I was kind to, that I was always there for. My cousins, my sisters, I grew up with them. And out of one little argument, they went online and bashed me for three days straight. It was horrible. Like, it was the worst experience of my life. Like, I went through a huge depression, depression about it. It was, it was disgusting. And, um, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do Divas Against Bullying because I was cyber bullied for three days straight. And when you're cyber bullied and when something is put on the internet about you, that can get reposted and reposted and deleted. But thank God, you know, I hired detectives and I pressed charges and all of, it, all of that crap was taken down. What I went through was horrible. And for them to be my family and betray me to that extent, when family fight, they fight. You keep it in the family, you get over it, you know? But when you go on the internet and you bash somebody's name and you belittle their character and you tarnish the reputation that they've been working so hard to build, it's, it's, it's horrible. Like, how could you do that? How could you do that to me? Out of all people who's been so kind to you. Three days straight bullying me and it was the worst. It was horrible, I felt sick, I was disgusted about it. But you know what, it was a blessing in disguise because I, uh, launched Divas Against Bullying. I went to schools. I talked to little girls about bullying. I talked to little girls about uh, self-bullying, which is probably the worst form of bullying, is self-bullying. Because, you know, everybody in this world, there's gonna be a lot of people in this world that's gonna tell you no, or that you're not good enough, or that you're ugly. And it's like, my cousins were online saying, oh, she's this, she's that. She thinks she's a star, she's this, she's that. You know, like, there's enough people who's gonna bring you down, but when you bring yourself down, that's a problem. So out of that horrible experience, that, that great experience came out because um, we did three schools. We had um, boxing world champion Danny Swift Garcia come to one of the schools with us. We had um, Raheem Brock, which was a uh, Super Bowl champ, um, come to one of the schools with us. We had guest speakers and it was amazing. Just because you're born in the hood, that don't mean you have to stay in the hood. Just because you come from a certain family, that doesn't mean you have to be like them. You know, you choose your life. You are your own maker in this world. You create your life. And that's what I've done. That's the best thing I could ever tell anybody, to just live free and be you. Too many people are so preoccupied with what other people think about them that they don't even wanna be themselves anymore. It really takes courage to be yourself. It takes courage to be happy because being yourself is being happy. Stay tuned because I'm working really hard and I'm gonna be having 
new music and a lot of great things coming up guys um i just did the most amazing song with egyptian it's exciting oh my god he's such a great artist and um it's a caribbean summertime song so everybody's gonna love it subscribe to my youtube channel i'm putting up new videos all the time long live christina long live christina on instagram long live christina on my tumblr blog and long live christina on my soundcloud i have amazing things coming up so if you want to be a part of it Straight big up to all my Jamaican Rude boy Egyptian Ooh, got my body moving like I caught a conniption Give me a couple rounds now, all like an Egyptian Soul of my heart, criminal conviction Yeah, daddy, come on, come get it Thank you so much, the Lightland Company, for coming to my home and coming to Studio 7 and just visiting me and interviewing me. I love you guys so much. I think your website is amazing. Keep it up. Yeah.